Whoa, no more Scooby Snacks. Oh, Shaggy, we need more Scooby Snacks. What, what are we gonna do, Scoob? We got no more Scooby Snacks. <laughs> I'm just totally kidding. I'm a dad, so I make dad jokes, make funny dad faces, and do funny dad impersonations. But today, in all seriousness, is not about running out of Scooby Snacks and knowing where your next meal is coming from. It's very important that we take a moment to understand the reality of our world and what is happening. And I wanna help you get through this and actually make an incredible amount of money online. But it's not gonna happen overnight. It's gonna take some time for you to build up the experience, build up the knowledge, be open-minded and learn and dedicate yourself to transitioning from working in the normal world where everybody's retail and everybody's in the, in, the, in the retail world to going online. It's not an easy transition for everybody. It's not gonna be easy for every single person. You all have your different skills, your different talents, and no matter what you're doing, I don't care what it is, you can find a niche in the online marketplace to make money. You can be a barber. Okay? You could be a doctor, you could be a chiropractor, you could be a cook, you could work in customer service, you could be a contractor. Doesn't matter what role you're in, you can make money online in one way or another. So today's video is gonna be a little bit longer, but we're gonna talk about how you can find the riches in the niches. Let me say that again. The niches are in the, wait, 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 no. The riches are in the niches. All right, so without further ado, Let's roll into it. All right, guys, welcome back. My name is Adrian Boysell. If this is your first time watching this video, you need to go back and watch the first one of how to make money online because it's important that you have a foundation and a mindset for success, okay? Now, it's very important that you understand the why, why you're doing it. We talked about that in the first video. The what, the how, and the who. And not in specifically in that order. Actually, the order goes why, who, what, and how, okay? Those are very, very important things and you have to believe in yourself, okay? So going forward, now that we've established that and after you watch that video, come back to this one and we're gonna talk about the riches that are in the niches and what niches have riches because not all of them are created equal. So let's get into it. All right, so let's just get into the different niches that you can get into. Okay, let's just say that you're a barber and you wanna make money online. Well, how in the world could a barber possibly make money online? Well, I got an answer for you. There are thousands of people that are stuck at home right now. They can't go anywhere with husbands and wives and they're all their hair is looking like this. Oh, it actually doesn't look so bad. Watch this, watch this. It looks like this. Pretty embarrassing, right? Well, if you're a barber, I need you, first of all, but you can also make money teaching the wives or teaching the husbands how to cut hair. I actually had to cut my own kid's hair because his, and my stepkid, but his dad butchered his hair, so I had to fix it. And I'm not even that great. So you could easily go online, create a little mini course, sell it for 20 bucks, and get thousands of people to buy your cut your hair from home video. It's an easy way to do it. There are also other cosmetologists, barbers, and people that are looking for knowledge and information on how to cut hair. And if that's your specialty and that's something you've been doing for a while, boom. You can share that knowledge and they will pay you for that knowledge. You can even start by just making YouTube videos, building up a following, barber videos. Maybe it's inspirational videos, maybe it's other barbers that you like, maybe it's techniques and strategies and, and things that you do in your barbering career or in your cosmetology career. These are really great ways to monetize your knowledge. There are websites like uh, Udemy and Linda, places where you can teach people things. And so even if you're a barber, you can do that. Okay, now number two, you could be a cook. You could actually teach people how to cook. That's a way to do it. That's one thing. You could make a cookbook and sell that online. You could do meal prep. You could build a website and have people come to your website and actually order your meal prep from you. There's a lot of people right now that aren't going to fast food joints that don't wanna to go to fast food joints. And a lot of the restaurants are not open or they're closed. So our limit, we have a lot more limited uh, meal options. 
And if you could do something beautiful, if you're an amazing cook, then you can make food, take videos of the food you're making, post it on Instagram, post it on YouTube, post it on TikTok, lots of places you can post that, and you can have people order the food right from you online, okay? You may need to get some certifications, so this is not a disclaimer to go do things that are illegal, I want you to follow the law, but just an example, meal prep is a really good way. You can do it for your friends and family and make enough cash to just keep the bills coming in, keep the bills paid and keep the lights on. That's really important. I want you to keep a roof over your head. Okay. Now, number three is customer service. Maybe all you've ever done in your career is worked at the video store. Actually, there are no more video stores thanks to Redbox um, and streaming. Maybe you only worked at a uh, Walmart or you worked at Target or you don't have a whole lot of experience in anything other than customer service. Well, guess what? People are still picking up the phone and calling businesses. And so customer service, virtual assistants, online businesses like me need people to answer calls, to handle customers, and to just have a great rapport and relationship. So if you're great with people, you're great on the phone, you can easily monetize that. There are websites that you can go to like Creative Market, Upwork, Udemy, uh, Freelancer. There's tons of websites out there. Freelancer.com is a great one. Udemy is a good one. Upwork's a good one. Creative Market's a good one. Fiverr, you can even go to Fiverr, okay? Maybe you're a musician or a singer, okay? Fiverr is another good one for you. You can go to Fiverr, you can actually upload and build a portfolio. That's really, really important to do as someone that's new online and is trying to build their online reputation and business is you can go to those websites, put your name, put your business, put your brand, put your images, put some of your work that you've done, maybe some of your music on there and you can start getting paid. Now you gotta remember, like I said, you're not gonna get paid a ton of money overnight. You're gonna start small, but the key is to get momentum, stay consistent for 30, 60, 90 days, six months, 365 days and you'll watch the momentum continue to build. You'll start to build an authority. You'll start to build a customer base. You'll start to become known, liked, and trusted, okay? That is one of the secrets to being able to be a successful business owner is you gotta get people to know you, like you, and trust you. And it doesn't matter what industry, what niche, or what your experience is in, okay? Now, the other one, maybe you're a graphic designer like me. That's where I started. Obviously, that's not what I do on a day-to-day -day basis now, but that is a really good way to make money. There's a lot of resources out there to help you. You can take stock images, you can retwist them and make them your own and do things like that and to totally put your own personality and style on them. You can do logos. You gotta find your niche. Everybody's gonna have a niche in their own market, in their own industry. Graphic designers have a bunch of different niches that you can go after. You can be a logo designer, you can do uh, character design, uh, we talked about this in one of my earlier videos of how graphic designers can make more money. And if you want to see that video, you can definitely go watch that one. I'll put that as a link above here. Um, but this is just another great area. Maybe you're an engineer. You can go to places like Guru and uh, Thumbtack and what's the other one? Uh, Guru, Thumbtack and uh, Bark. Those are three great websites that you can add yourself to with very little money out of pocket. You can start bidding on projects, starting to get quotes, starting to give out uh, offers and you just got to make more offers. That's the key. Especially if you're a graphic designer, engineer, you got to put yourself in a place where you can start making more offers. One of the things that I've been doing every single day during this quarantine is I've been catching myself and holding myself accountable, even though business is really good for me right now. On the flip side of that is I have to remind myself that it could change at any moment. Things could get even worse and money could lock up even tighter and I could lose more business. So I've been making a point every single day when I wake up in the day to tell myself, make more offers. Say it again, make more offers. Say it with me, make more offers. Every single day, whatever your talent, whatever your expertise is, whatever your knowledge is, you need to know how to brand it, you need to know how to package it, you need to know how to write the content, you need to know what problems you're solving, you need to know why you're solving them. All of these things are very important to building an online business. And if you can do these things and follow these steps, no matter what industry you're in, there's very few. I know a guy who stocks shelves is a friend of mine and I was able to find a way even for that guy to make money online. You can teach people the proper way to stock shelves, how to position things, how to get more money out of a product, positioning, it's like real estate, okay? Staging is a big deal. So there's money that can even be made in staging your store. There's lots of business owners that when things open back up again, they're gonna wanna improve their sales, they're gonna wanna cut things, they're gonna wanna cut costs. So there's just all kinds of ways that you can go about doing that, okay? Maybe you're a contractor, or maybe you're a mechanic. How the heck can you monetize being a contractor? Well, you could teach a homeowner or a, or a Mr. Fixer DIY kind of guy, how to do his electrical work or how to do his uh, patio or how to fix his bathroom sink or how to replace his, his curio or how to 
change the shower out or how to grout tile. There's so many different things you can teach on platforms like YouTube and platforms like TikTok, and those are all ways to drive traffic. And that is one of the keys, and really the key online with making money, is how are you gonna generate traffic? And that's why I'm talking about the, niche, the riches are in the niches, because the more specific you get within the niches that you wanna go after, and let me just pause that for a second here, um, and the more specific you get and the more targeted, the more effective your marketing is going to be. The cost is going to be cheaper to advertise, to market. You're not swimming in what they call a red ocean. If you jump into the ocean with all the other sharks that have way more experience, your chances of catching one of the 10 fish that's in there is gonna be really hard. But if you niche down and you get specific and say, hey, I am a great logo designer for insurance companies, or I am a great logo designer for residential care facilities, or I'm a great logo designer, you can get as almost as specific as you want. And you can always add more niches if you want, if it's not big enough, if you don't think you have a big enough pool, but try to just start by building momentum in one specific niche and being the best at that. That's what I did, okay? I started in the nightlife club flyer design world and through the inspiration that I had, a guy named Andy Duong and a bunch of other people that I followed that I really admired their graphic design work, I followed their stuff, a guy named Elvin Reyes. He was really great, and he wasn't even doing the design themselves, but he had some other people doing design work for him, but his style was really great, so I emulated that, and I emulated uh, Andy's stuff. And I started to learn the techniques and the skills and the things that they were doing. I just focused on becoming the absolute number one, go-to best flyer design. And I thought to myself, how can I add value to this flyer design process? Well, because I've niched down so well and I have a specific target of nightlife and restaurants and things like that, I knew that they were going to need to promote those events with flyers, with actually printed material. So I had started helping them actually do the printing and that's where I actually made the bulk of my revenues. A lot of my revenues came from the printing side of my business. So that's just another example is when you niche down and you get really deep into one specific niche, you can start to identify all of the different problems and all the different needs that they have in those niches. And that's what I want you to do. No matter what industry you're in, if you're a mechanic, you can help somebody change the oil in their car. Maybe you market, maybe you're a mechanic, there's Mr. Suave, Devonier, uh, not like my buddy Jason, but just somebody that's super smooth and super good looking. And maybe you just teach women how to change the tires and do basic maintenance on their cars. And you put out a little course and say, hey, since you can't go to the mechanic shop right now, I'm gonna show you how to change your oil and I'm gonna do it without my shirt on. I'm being silly and I'm being over the top with it, but that's just an example. There's so many different ways to drive traffic and to niche down into specific niches. You gotta know who your target customer is. You have gifts, abilities, and talents that need to be applied to that that is gonna make you stand out from everybody else. So as you know, this is a five-part video or a series where I'm going to be talking about all the different things you need to do to actually build a business online. Now that you understand that the riches are in the niches, then I want you to go pick your niche. I want you to go find it who it is that you want to help. And this is going to go back to your foundational, to the foundational video that I talked to you about of understanding what that person's problem is. Once you've niched down and you know what the problem is that you're going to solve, now you can target your customers very effectively. And you'll know where to target them, what platform they're on, what age they're in, what income they have, where they live, if they have kids. There's so many different ways to target those people. But once you have that dialed down, man, it's gonna be time to put the fuel on it. And really what the fuel is, is your messaging and your offer. So in our next video, we're gonna talk about creating an irresistible offer and how to create messaging around your brand and really building a brand. At the beginning, it's probably just gonna be your name. You don't have to necessarily come up with an actual brand name and we'll talk about that in the next video, but you just need to make sure that you have an identity that people can know, like, and trust. So I hope this video was filled with lots of gold nuggets for you. Remember, the riches are in the niches. Niche down, get specific. You can always expand if over time it's not giving you the momentum that you want. But I'm telling you, the more specific and the more targeted you get, the more momentum you're gonna get a lot quicker. So that's what I got for you today. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Thank you again for watching. And as always, keep looking up.